Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to come on and do a video regarding competition versus effort. I was going to do a live about this, but I decided to do a short video instead. So when we talk about competition, I've talked about competition before in my previous videos and lots of times on my channels, and we only heard about women having a competition or going through some form of a competition to get a high value man once the Manosphere and certain other male YouTubers got hot and, and got on the scene and went viral. But in essence, from all the videos that I've showed you guys that I'm sure you've watched, from all the critiques that have happened as well, it is <laughs> very much so safe for me to say that competition is a lie. It is a joke. It is done by women who are in essence a little out of touch with their femininity, out of touch with their power of their womanhood, and it is required by men who are insecure, by men who are who have possibly been hurt before, by men who are extremely emotionally disconnected. They are obsessed with having their ego pleased. They are trying to run power trips on women instead of gaining power from their uh, jobs, careers, and through their resources. Instead, they want to do it on women, right? So competition doesn't get you anywhere because if you have to compete for a man, it means in essence, he doesn't actually like you. He's just giving you commitment as part of a transaction, as part of a reward versus a healthy relationship. Commitment is given by both people, man and woman, based on desirability, likability, core values, and and just overall compatibility and an emotional connection, right? That's the normal way of how a relationship would start and how you would get a person's commitment. Um, you, you don't get them because they're winning the race and they're ahead of someone else. Oh, you won the competition, so let me give you my commitment. No, you get commitment when somebody really really likes you and values you as a human being and want they want you a part of their life so that is what it means to be competing and be competed for it is not a genuine process when you're in this competition it is a process that is disingenuous and very much so transactional versus putting effort into a relationship now I believe in spaces like this and here on YouTube, effort and competition are heavily <laughs> intertwined and they're two completely different things. I just explained to you guys what competition is. So let me explain to you guys what putting effort into a relationship is. You put effort into a relationship based on your desire to grow the connection you have with that current person. However, you only put effort into things that you see as worthy that you see potential in that you actually like and want to see grow right that's what you put effort into a relationship you put effort based on your own ability to want to impress a person to want to make that person happy but it stems from a place of deep care and like and yes love for someone else that you develop on your own right and the thing with relationships in general I've said this before on my channels relationships are risky it's very true you can put effort into a relationship that doesn't work out in the end you can end up uh, being in a situation where you're the only one who is putting effort into a, the relationship as a whole and it doesn't work out and you feel like wow I put in so much effort this person didn't and and it didn't even end up anything those things could all very well happen because relationships are a risk that's why it's so important especially as a woman to have really good discernment to know how to vet properly so that you don't end up putting so much effort into a man who clearly showed signs that he was never really that interested or simply that the relationship just wasn't going to go far in the first place. So effort and competition are different because one of them, one of them is based off of scarcity, fear, lack, and you know egotism versus the other one is based and rooted in genuine connection and based in uh, 
real emotional connection as well, right? So the two are not the same. The two can't be made into one either because competition isn't really effort. It's like you're just trying to reach a goal and you're doing whatever you can. And I guess in a sense, it's effort, but it's not genuine effort. And majority of the time when women feel like they have to compete and do so much to get a man to uh, be impressed, it's only a matter of time before you realize like this person really isn't all that's cracked up to be. And I don't even think this is exclusive to women. I think men believe this too. Sometimes men who get mixed up with a woman who possibly has a lot of options and he's really trying to show he cares about her, but she keeps falling for like the bad boy or she keeps falling for the guy who's like blowing her off. And then the, on the other side, she has a genuine guy trying to get her attention. After a while, the guy might be like, wow, this girl is not even noticing me. I'm not going to compete for her anymore because it's just not worth it. And usually the person who has to compete is just going to realize you don't like me <laughs> and I'm just going to move on to someone who does. Because like I've said before, ladies, relationships are actually supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be a simple and natural process getting into a relationship because you're doing it with someone that actually likes you there's no confusion there's no games there's no time being wasted and it's supposed to be a positive experience with ups and downs of course but overall the general sense is positive the person is going to have flaws yes but it's going to be flaws that you personally can handle it's going to be flaws that you can accept that you can deal with that you can probably grow with that person into evolving into something into someone better right so if you're in a situation where a guy is making you compete don't get it twisted with you putting an effort into a relationship because when you get into the relationship is when the real effort starts happening it's when you actually put an effort to grow your connection with each other to really test and see if you guys are made to be together for a long term that's really when effort comes in and starts to show it comes in kind of after the commitment phase right like in a marriage now you're putting now that you're married now you have to live marriage life which involves putting effort into your marriage right subscribing to gender roles if that's what you believe in so as a wife when you're married you're putting effort into your marriage by by uh, subscribing to the traditional role of a wife sometimes that to some people that involves cooking cleaning having a routine being there for your husband uh, making him lunch and and doing sweet things uh, making sure to not forget about the time you need to spend physically intimate with each other right like you're putting effort into keeping the relationship and or marriage a calm relaxed and positive uh, space in each other's lives right and competition competition is you don't even you're not in a relationship if you're in competition for someone that's usually something that happens during the dating phase and it's it's a facade because the person who's requiring you to compete is a person who is not emotionally available to you which is why they need to see you just do stuff for them in order to base how much you like them instead of getting to know you right and seeing who you are as a person and deciding if they would like to have you in their life long term i had one guy ask me before uh so what are we supposed to do if you're not going to do all these things for me aka me compete for him and i said well it's not that i'm not going to do anything for you it's just that the primary focus is going to be on us getting to know each other spending quality time with each other opening up and establishing an emotional connection as some kind of foundation for an emotional connection and then we're going to decide if we want to continue on long term because even though men hold the uh access to relationships it is still a decision that is made on both people because men hold the access but as a woman you have to give your consent you can either say yes or no so the man decides to ask you and you decide to say yes or no it is a decision there is no one above the other because a lot of men on here want to say that they hold access to marriage and they're the ones who who hold access to relationships and that is true they are the ones traditionally speaking who ask if in a traditional setup right But 
Just because they ask doesn't mean they're going to get a yes. So I don't want you ladies to hear that and think that you don't have the power because you do. You do not have a relationship if the guy doesn't ask. You do not have a relationship if you as a woman do not say yes. And today in 2022 and just within the past few years, I've seen a lot of women being the ones to inquire about a relationship and be the first ones to speak up about that. And then the guy is the one who gives his consent. I mean, that's the modern day if that's what you're into, right? So competition and effort is not the same. It's never been the same. Competition is done by people who are insecure, living in scarcity, who are emotionally unavailable and just want to have their egos fed and just want to feel like they have some sense of power over somebody, right? Versus efforts. Effort is a little bit more deeper it requires emotional availability and it's something that's done in a risky uh, relationship or a risky situation because like I said relationships are risky so you can put an effort to anything in life effort into your career effort into studying for a test but there's no guarantee that you're going to pass right it's a risk so effort requires deep emotional availability it requires you to be incredibly selfless as well to put effort into a relationship you cannot think selfishly you cannot do that because if you if things don't go your way you're going to get disappointed and it's going to turn into emotional baggage or some form of bitterness or resentment for the person when instead you can go in with a mindset of abundance with a mindset of selflessness so that whatever happens in the end you're not going to be attached to that result instead you're going to be attached to the experience and that is the most important part of every aspect of life is the experiences that come with this life we're living in and that's what's going to shape and mold the type of woman you want to be is your experiences the wisdom your knowledge the lessons you've learned you just don't want to embark through life in general but especially through relationships thinking that you don't need to go through anything that's not a mindset you want to cling on to because how are you going to learn anything if you don't go through something right like it is essential that everyone goes through some form of a heartbreak in their life it's a it's not natural to think I'm never gonna try to go through a heartbreak because you will learn something about yourself through those heartbreaks, through those rejections, through those no's with anything, not even just relationships, but through anything, right? Sometimes not getting what you want will teach you what you need to do to get what you want. Most oftentimes than not. So ladies, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below, what do you think about competition, but particularly, what do you think about effort? What do you think is the difference between the two? Check out my last video on why they want you to compete. I'll put that link in the description box. And until next time, ladies, bye.